Hi, we are Dennis and Quentin, currently living in Belgium. In a few weeks, we will be starting an adventure across Europe. But first, we need to convert our newly acquired caddy van into a camper beauty. In our last video, we screwed down the subfloor, glued the wheel arches in place, and made one of the back door more camper friendly with some wood cladding and a nice little shelf. Every bit of storage counts. Today, our task will be to take care of the carpet under the seats, which is impregnated into some kind of oil that is impossible to get rid of and make this space completely unusable. So first, let's get rid of those seats. <laughs> Where do I smell weed? So actually, I can maybe just flip it like this. Now let's see how dirty this is. I mean, it's actually okay. It's just wow, it's quite reasonably disgusting. <laughs> so the plan is we rip out all this part, right? Yeah. Remove all this. We have a good clean. We replace this, and then we should be good to go. More? No, three more. Three more. Yeah. So these are the bottom ones and these are the top ones. So I went to the mechanic for the annual checkup and I told him that we wanted to remove the seat and he was just like, oh, I have one for you, you can have this. And then we just needed to figure out where to get something to actually use this thing. So I asked the guy again, I was like, so we have this, how do I use it? And he found me this. <laughs> <laughs> and it barely fits in our uh, ratchet yeah, thing Yeah, which here. is my mom's. Yeah. <laughs> so. Thanks, mom. <laughs> yeah. I'm so gonna clean those screws. Wow. <laughs> One of us can start with a vacuum cleaner, yeah. and maybe the other can take a Stanley knife and just start cutting it out. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so maybe I'll uh, move the car. Okay. This is out! The lab arrest. <laughs> so this is basically how the entirety of the car when we bought it was. Everything was full of dirt. <laughs> Raisin or something. Uh, oh, grime <laughs> mixed with oil. How did it get in there? Yeah, good question. It must have been so dirty to get yeah. underneath. Finally, we're getting there. Meanwhile, I calculated the space that's there so we can put a piece of ply and make it a nice floor to put a leisure battery. One more car. Okay, let's see, first try, quite some give, but yeah, it fits. Good morning everyone, it's around 9.30 in the morning and I'm just gonna have some breakfast and then head out to Brico because we need some new supplies. So as you saw yesterday, we managed to remove the seat and clean underneath, it was super filthy. And we want to make it a really nice space now so that we can actually use it for storage. So Quentin made the supply underfloor, I put some sound deadening first. And we want to put some type of rubber on top so that we have a clean floor that we can use. And a few days ago, we were actually in Brico and Quentin said we should really get the rubber floor now so that we have it when we need it. And I was like, well, let's wait and see. 
<laughs> because I wasn't really looking forward to this chore. Um, I wasn't sure how easy it was gonna be to take those seats out and whether we would find cables for airbags, but um, it's a super old car, so there's no airbag wires underneath the seats. So it went super easy and much faster than expected. I think just in a couple of hours we managed to yeah, clean out the whole first side and put the sound, uh, sound deadening down. So yeah, we're ready to continue working and also start with the second seat today. So I have to go to Brico, but first some breakfast. going to be a warm, sunny day, they said. Mission accomplished. Okay, we have a car without seats. Okay, so we have our floor in place with the rubber uh, cut to optimal precision <laughs> as best as we could. So now we're going to try to join those two rubbers together so that the insulation is not exposed. So we don't uh, have a staple gun that's strong enough, so we're just gonna try to put some glue on here. Let's see if it works. Hello, Hello, Quentin, with a new hairstyle. Oh yeah, Did made it? him a new little, uh, yeah. what do you call this, little bun this yeah. morning. I was like, I think I'm going to get rid of my hair for the traveling. And she was like, no, not your <laughs> hair, I love them so much. Uh. What can we do with them? Yeah, because they're always hanging in your eyes. Yeah, Especially practical. when working, I yeah. also have to braid my hair, especially yeah. when it's windy like today. So, <laughs> plan of today. We finished quite late yesterday. We were exhausted. Yes. Exhausted. But you're very happy with yeah. where we've come so far. Mm -hmm. We've just a little adjustments to make. Clean one more seat, uh, adjust the rubber on one side. Yeah. Uh, keep putting some glue to make everything fit together. Looking forward to see how the laminate looks inside because it's really going to give a tone and a color to the inside. Yeah. So that's also what's going to dictate our decision for the, roof, for the ceiling. Yeah and the side, so yeah. yeah. Everything is coming together. Yay! <laughs> All right, let's work. That's it everyone, we finished another long day of hard work and are super happy with the result. We now have a clean and accessible storage space behind the seats where we will store things such as our leisure battery, toilet paper and first aid kit. We end our evening with vegan apple pie and look forward to sharing more with you in our next video 
where we will lay down our laminate floor and start building our van furniture. We hope you are well wherever you are watching from and we wish you a beautiful day, evening or night.